when I look at charismatic leaders that I have dealt with in the past, either spoken to or coached or been hired by, they have an authentic strength in, let's say, their credibility. They can be really bad in some of the other areas. For example, there was a chief executive officer that I worked for in New York. The man was one of the worst speakers I had ever heard. He earned, erred, odd through every speech he gave. Wow. But when he gave an all hands presentation, people were mesmerized by this man because he had come in at the bottom of the organization. He had done just about every job in that organization. And when he spoke, it was from such a deep well of credibility that that was really all he needed to be charismatic. Makes a whole lot of sense so that you don't have to work on all of these, but if you really are very well versed or exude that in one area, that could carry it through. Well, I think working on all of them is a good thing. I try to do that myself. But I do think that knowing where your strength is so that you can optimize that authentically is a huge part of being charismatic. And of course, the other part of being charismatic goes right back to connection. The most charismatic leaders I have ever worked with, you go out of their office and you think, oh my goodness, I'm the most wonderful person on the planet. Not they're the most wonderful person because they've made you feel so amazingly good about yourself. So they have that ability to connect and to support and to motivate, and it makes them incredibly charismatic. 